Imagine a people, hidden from the relentless march of time, their existence a whisper in the vast chorus of humanity. What if I told you that deep within the uncharted corners of our world, a tribe exists whose very blood seems to defy our understanding of human history? We're not talking about a long-lost cousin, but a group whose genetic fingerprint shows no direct link to any known modern population on Earth. Prepare yourselves as SCI Discovery Chronicles delves into one of the most profound human mysteries ever encountered. Are they a living relic of a forgotten human species? The implications are staggering. The unveiling of an enigma. For centuries, explorers and anthropologists have sought to map the full extent of human diversity. We found communities in breathtaking isolation, preserving ancient customs and languages. But this, this is different. Reports, initially dismissed as myth, began to surface from a virtually inaccessible region, perhaps a dense, primordial jungle, or a string of islands forgotten by the currents. These accounts spoke of a small, elusive group, living in complete isolation, their ways utterly alien to any neighbors, if neighbors they even had. When a dedicated, albeit cautious, expedition finally made tentative contact, the initial observations were astounding. Their language bore no resemblance to any known linguistic family. Their tools, while ingenious, seemed to have evolved on a completely separate technological trajectory. Their understanding of the world, their myths, their social structures, all pointed to a profound and prolonged separation from the rest of humanity. But the most earth-shattering discovery was yet to come, hidden deep within their very cells. The genetic bombshell, a lineage apart. Driven by an insatiable curiosity to understand their origins and with painstakingly obtained ethical permissions and community consent, genetic samples were carefully collected. The anticipation in the labs was palpable. What secrets would their DNA unlock? Would it confirm a known migration pattern, perhaps an early offshoot of an ancient African, Asian, or Australasian group? The results, when they finally arrived, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Their DNA was unique. Utterly, astonishingly unique. While clearly human, their genetic markers didn't align directly with any established modern human population. No close matches in global databases. No direct ancestral ties to the peoples who surround their isolated territory, nor to any distant populations we know of. It was as if they were a branch of the human family tree that had snapped off so early and so completely that it left no discernible trace in the genetic heritage of other modern humans. This wasn't just a case of a population being isolated for a few centuries or even a few millennia. The data hinted at a divergence far, far deeper in our ancestral past. The question that ignited everyone's imagination, could they be the last descendants of a ghost population, or even, dare we say, a separate hominin lineage that survived in isolation, a cousin species to Homo sapiens? Theory 1. The Echo of Ancient Migrations So, what could explain this profound genetic solitude? One leading theory suggests this tribe represents an incredibly ancient lineage of Homo sapiens. Picture this as our ancestors first ventured out of Africa, perhaps multiple waves of migration occurred over tens of thousands of years. Some of these early groups may have taken routes we haven't yet fully mapped, reaching remote corners of the globe and then becoming utterly cut off by rising sea levels, expanding deserts, or impenetrable mountain ranges. If this tribe is a remnant of such an early wave, they could have diverged from other Homo sapiens populations before many of the genetic traits that characterize modern Eurasians, Native Americans, or other continental groups even evolved. They would be, in essence, a living time capsule preserving a genetic snapshot of a very early chapter in the Homo sapiens story. Their unique DNA wouldn't mean they aren't Homo sapiens, but rather that they are an extraordinarily early and unmixed branch of our species, whose genetic distinctiveness has been amplified by millennia of isolation and genetic drift. This theory is compelling, suggesting a human diaspora far more complex and spread out in its earliest phases than we currently appreciate. Theory 2. Descendants of a Ghost Population 
Another, perhaps even more tantalizing, possibility is that this tribe carries a significant genetic signature from a ghost population. What's a ghost population? It's an archaic group of hominins for whom we have little to no fossil evidence but whose existence is inferred from the DNA of modern humans. We know, for instance, that many modern humans carry small percentages of Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA, evidence of interbreeding events tens of thousands of years ago. Could it be that this mysterious tribe interbred extensively with a yet undiscovered archaic human species? Perhaps a species that thrived in that specific remote region and this tribe are the primary, or even sole, inheritors of a substantial portion of that ancient hominin's genome. If so, their DNA wouldn't just be a window into early Homo sapiens diversity, but a potential key to unlocking the story of another human species entirely one that walked the earth alongside our ancestors, leaving its most significant genetic legacy in this one isolated group. Finding direct evidence for this is challenging. It would require comparing their unique genetic markers to ancient DNA extracted from as yet undiscovered fossils, a monumental task. Theory 3 A Relict Hominin Species the most radical idea, this brings us to the most radical and, for many, the most exciting possibility. Could this tribe represent not just an early offshoot of Homo sapiens, nor descendants of interbreeding with a ghost population, but the actual surviving members of a different hominin species? Think Homo erectus, or perhaps a regional variant like Homo floresiensis, the hobbits of Indonesia, but one that persisted, hidden into the modern era. This is, scientifically speaking, the tallest order. For this to be true, their genetic makeup would have to be drastically different, placing them clearly outside the Homo sapiens clade. While the initial reports say no direct link to any known modern population, the full extent of their genetic divergence is still being analyzed. If they were a distinct hominin species, we would expect to see unique skeletal features, cognitive differences, and a genetic distance far greater than any observed between existing human groups. The current data suggests they are human, but the no direct link phrasing keeps this speculative door slightly ajar. The implications would be world-altering, forcing us to redefine what it means to be human and to acknowledge that our species wasn't alone until much, much later than we ever imagined. The challenges and the path forward, unraveling this mystery is a monumental undertaking fraught with challenges. Firstly, there are the ethical considerations. Studying any isolated group requires immense sensitivity, respect for their autonomy, and a commitment to avoiding harm or undue influence. The priority must always be their well-being and their right to choose how or if they engage with the outside world. Logistically, the remote and often inhospitable nature of their territory makes sustained research incredibly difficult. Further genetic sequencing, including ancient DNA comparisons if possible, is crucial. Archaeological investigation in and around their territory could also yield vital clues, ancient settlements, tools, or even fossil remains that might bridge the gap in their ancestral story. Paleoanthropologists, geneticists, linguists, and archaeologists will need to collaborate, piecing together every fragment of evidence. This is not a puzzle that will be solved quickly, but each small discovery could bring us closer to understanding their extraordinary story. What this means for humanity, regardless of which theory ultimately proves correct, the mere existence of such a tribe profoundly impacts our understanding of human history. It underscores the incredible resilience and adaptability of humans, our capacity to survive and thrive in the most isolated corners of the planet for unimaginable lengths of time. It also highlights the vastness of what we don't know about our own past. The human story is clearly more complex, more diverse, and more mysterious than we often give it credit for. This discovery could reveal new insights into human migration patterns, genetic adaptation to extreme environments, and the deep ancestral connections that bind all of humanity, even to its most distant and isolated branches. It's a humbling reminder that the Earth may still hold secrets about our origins, secrets that challenge our assumptions and expand our horizons. 
So, we stand at a precipice of discovery. A tribe shrouded in mystery whose DNA whispers of a forgotten era, a lineage that took a solitary path through the ages. Are they an echo of humanity's earliest pioneers, a living testament to interbreeding with a ghost species, or something even more unexpected? The quest to understand them is a quest to understand ourselves more deeply. What fascinates you most about this genetic enigma? What other lost chapters of the human story might still be waiting to be found? The story of this tribe is a testament to the enduring mysteries of our world and the incredible journey of humankind. It reminds us that exploration and discovery are far from over. Outro music begins to swell. Thank you for joining us on SCI Discovery Chronicles. If this journey into the unknown has sparked your curiosity, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with fellow explorers of knowledge. Click that notification bell so you won't miss our next scientific adventure. What do you believe is the truth behind this mysterious tribe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.